use the Festive Bold Roads Seasons Greens die set. And what I've done is I've pre-prepped this one, thankfully, and I went ahead and die cut out my elements. And I cut these out of glitter card, foil card, and uh, some red glitter card. So two greens and a red. So I have got those already ready to go. I also went and cut out the word joy and I backed it onto some foam. So I've got it here, joy, backed onto some white foam. And that one just came from the Peace and Joy set that we're gonna use again in a minute. So that's all ready to go. That's gonna be our sentiment. And again, it's just on plain white fun foam. So there's our little elements that I pre-cut out. And I'm gonna share with you a little quick trick and tip. Um, and I might not finish the front of it, but there is a picture of this card on Craft Stash's website, where if you click on this die set, you can see the whole finished project, because this is a card I did as part of my design team. Oh, I already took it out, didn't I? I put it here. So the cheater's way of making a wreath, so these are the die cuts that have come out of the die. If you want to make a wreath card, you're just going to need a circle. So I die cut out a circle using my creative, um, just basic circle dies and cut myself a card base that was just slightly bigger than the circle die. So all you need to do is glue down your circle and you want to keep the circle the same color as the background card because it's basically our cheater's way of making a wreath without people knowing that we can't naturally do a circle because it's too difficult. So I'm going to pop that right down in the middle, scooch that around, and then we're just going to start building up a wreath. So just put a little bit of glue on. It doesn't need to have glue all around it at all because it will naturally, a wreath naturally wants to kind of pop up. So I'm just putting little blobs of glue on, makes it nice and quick as well. And then I'm just kind of overlapping them ever so slightly and following my circle guide from my die cuts and I'm going to start with all my leaves first and I'm going to get all these down and you can obviously bulk it out as much as you want or keep it as thin as you want. Um, it's your wreath, it doesn't need to have more than one layer or if you want it to look a bit more fluffy <laughs> you can then go ahead and add on some more layers. So I'm just going to quickly pop on some glue and just follow that wreath all the way around. Now when you're happy with what you've got going on, just for the sake of time, so we've got a nice little quick video, you can then start to glue on a few holly leaves. So I did these in foil just to have a little bit of a different contrast of green. Then what you can do is go ahead and glue on your little red, um, those things, <laughs> those dots. So you can go ahead and glue those on. And when you're finished, you'll end up with a wreath with lots of prettiness on there. I did print out a picture actually, so that's the, the finished project. And then you can go ahead and stick Joy right there in the center with your fun foam. And you could never ever tell that there was that circle underneath there. So that was my second card that I wanted to do with you for the Facebook Live. It's really quick, really simple and easy. The most time consuming bit is running your die through about four or five times and that was it. And obviously if you run it through and you plan it well, then you could do a nice simple card like this one here and keep all your pieces that you've done and then use all the inside bits. So it's really, really quite a quick one. I'm just gonna clear this away. I keep forgetting I can't edit out the pauses in between. So to step up this one, which is what I wanted to share with you, you can go ahead and use some glitter card. And I've got this foil card under there, but I just shifted it over ever so slightly so you can see the Christmas tree. And then I die cut inlaid the stars in the snow so that you can only see the die cut from the Christmas tree because it did look a little bit wonky having the circles kind of pushed over. Um, I found a Christmas stamp in my stamp set and then I did wishes with a bit of white gel pen. This video is on my YouTube if you want to see the tutorial for how to do this one. But that is kind of a stepped up version of that one. So third card is the one that we started with in my live where we went ahead and used some mixed media. And we got that wet. I'm just gonna quickly dry that fully.
I'll have to do. Right, so there's our background that we made at the start. I've got my card base, so I'm just going to fold that in half. I've cut my card base, or I should say I cut my card topper to be just ever so slightly smaller than my base. So I've got a little bit of a border going around the edge. I'm going to stick that onto my card front. You could go ahead and rough up the edges if you want to add a bit more texture to it. You could go ahead and emboss it with an embossing folder if you want a little bit more texture than what we've got from the background. But this is nice and simple. You can go ahead and make a whole bunch of these backgrounds and leave them all to dry. Um, and then you could come in and do all the rest. So what I thought we would do is then take a bit of card and we're just going to die cut out the words. I actually folded, I already pre-folded it and I used my bit that I was going to use for my words <laughs> to make the card. Um, but what we want to do then is we can cut out peace and joy. And now I foolishly use joy. <laughs> I don't remember where I stuck it. It's the previous card I used the word joy on for that gold. Okay, so we're going to pretend we've got joy. <laughs> And we're just going to die cut out peace. And if we had joy, I would be die cutting out joy as well. I'm just going to pop that in there. And run that through. Again, this is the same vanilla cardstock that I used as the base. Ooh. Sorry, it's shaking the table. Right, so we've got peace. All cut out. Now, if you want to add a bit more character to these, you could pop them up on foam. You could layer them up a few times and that would give you some more dimension on them. But for now, we can just take that and we can glue it on to the front. And as I said, I wanted to have peace and joy because it does look a bit funny with just peace. Um, I had to check there for a second. I'm like, how do I spell this? Right, so that's going to go on the front of there. And then we've got this gorgeous Christmassy colored background. We've got our word that can then go on the front. And that kind of finishes off that card. You could add on some little gems and little maybe clear dots around to kind of accent it a bit more if you wanted. So I'm very sorry my live got cut out. I hope you feel a bit inspired by my video and I hope it was okay in the end with this quick little fast version. Again, if you want to see the better photo of the wreath one, then you can check that out on Craft Stash's website. If you click on the, um, the picture for this one here. And, um, oh, I was gonna show you some other versions. If you want to change up your dies, so you've got that kind of die, you can always take a shaped die and you can go ahead and cut a different shape out of those dies and create a different look altogether. So on these ones, I took a circle and I die cut out a circle out of just this first initial die and stuck it down onto a card, used up some of my scraps that were left over from making other cards to do some strips in the background, added a sentiment, excuse me, um, and that completed those cards. So there's lots of versatility with a nice basic die. And these elements that you get in the middle are really fun to work with as well. So thank you for joining me and I hope you feel a bit inspired. Bye.